there, it's JohnBerry555 and welcome to my 10 part miniseries where I'm going to be reviewing the HBO miniseries Band of Brothers which was created by Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks. So a few, a quick overview real quick. The, the Band of Brothers follows E Company or EZ Company of the 5, okay, 5 or 5th I believe, um, Paratrooper Infantry Division of the 101st Airborne. I want, I want, is, yeah, oh sorry, not 5 or 5th, 5 or 6th Parachute Infantry Regiment of the 101st Airborne Division. Have some notes here so that way I don't get, so I can check this stuff up, make sure I got everything correct. But yeah, as far as their adventures, it's from basically their training all the way to being sent home. So, we're going to start off with part 1, episode um, q a -H, and we're going to end up with part 10 points. So, expect that this is going to be one episode a week, so this is going to be a 10 week long miniseries for me. And today I'm going to be talking about part 6, Best On. So this is such an easy company doing the Battle of the Bulge, and they're specifically helping to defend the town of Best On. They're cut off from supplies, it's cold, they're not in the best situation. And this is showing them struggling. Um, no, they're lacking supplies. Um, we actually get to follow the, the uh, medic of the company. So um, Eugene Rowe, who's nicknamed Doc. I mean, Medic Doc. That makes sense. That's, that's his nickname. Um, he, you know, he's helping soldiers. He's scrounging for medical supplies. And he actually befriends a, um, a nurse, a Belgian nurse that's, you know, helping to take care. And uh, the ends with her being killed during a bombing. Well, essentially the, the hospital, which is actually with the church in Baston, is hit, and she unfortunately doesn't make it. And um, one thing we know about Doc is Eugene, that is that he's from Louisiana. He's a Cajun, so he, he knows French decent, he knows French, Cajun French, but that means he does know some French. Which gives us a big insight into his character, and allows him to communicate pretty effectively with the, the, with the local Belgians, many of who, in, especially because they're in Wallonia and Flanders, speak French. Um, but yeah. And we also get, you know, Easy Company surrounded, but so is everyone else in Bastogne and surrounded. This is actually when um, a U.S. Army General, I forget his name, off the top of my head, but when asked for surrender, gives the reply, nuts. Which supposedly was very difficult for the um, Germans to translate it into German, which makes sense, like, I guess the easiest translation would be no, but like, I'm trying to, I, again, don't have a strong grasp of the German language, but yeah, it would make sense. Um, and, you know, in, Amer in American English especially, when we say nuts, we mean, essentially it's a, well, polite way of swearing without swearing, you know, it's that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah. But yeah, so, this is really, this episode is really about Eugene. So as we see more inside to Captain Winters, he... At this point, if uh, he's you no, know, he's out there with the men freezing off, basically, and I'm not in part of my language, but it's true. He's freezing his ass off with them. They're in tough situations, but that's that's the, this is showing more than bonding. How they're abandoned brothers, living through the same experiences. But this one is part more than is showing us you, you know, person. No, we hadn't explored yet. We've seen people talk to him, but more really exploring Eugene's character, showing how he's there. Not to fight, but to help, to basically help his brothers, help his comrades in arms. He's there to make sure they survive. He's scrounging for medical supplies. Generally, what it is that um sounds like is as I understand it, is every American soldier was issued with a small emergency medical kit. So it had um I think a dose of morphine and a bandage. Like pretty much that was it. Just so that way. While they're waiting for the magic to come, they can maybe get a band-aid or get some morphine so they can deal with the pain. But they're so strapped for supplies, Eugene is basically begging them to give me what you have so I have it so that in case something happens, I have these supplies. There's even situations where, where um, one in, one soldier is like, like, don't give me any, sa Doc, save, your, save what you have for somebody else. And that's just showing how desperate it was. Now, at the end, I believe it does show that um, with the U U.S. Army Air Force airdropping supplies in for them, and that did happen. It was actually quite successful, but um, the first drop, I believe, only gave enough supplies for one day, and this was a huge operation. Over, like, I believe it was over, over 20 planes, maybe even up to 50 planes involved, yet it was only a day's worth of supplies. So until re reinforcements could 
get in, punch through the German lines and right in the front so that, so that way they had road access. Easy Company and a, and, and a bunch of other companies and divisions and, of regiments were entirely cut off from reinforcements. Probably the closest, not fully encircled, but pretty much encircled, lacking supply. And we see, and you, with Eugene scavenging, we see him scavenging from fellow soldiers, scavenging from dead Germans, and also when he goes to come in one injured soldier to the to Bastogne, where, where they have a field hospital set up inside church, in the church there. Um, he's scavenging, f sca scavenging for supplies there, asking, what do you have that you can spare? I need stuff. And that's when he meets that Belgian nurse and befriends. And it's quite... Nice to see, you know, that humanity there, that these are human characters, that they're struggling, but also that they are capable of making friends, bonding over something as simple as being able to speak to each other in, as when they may not have expected to have been. And that is so lovely to see in the heart of this episode. So I would like to say thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comment section down below what did you think of Baston. I would love to hear from you. Also, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, upvote, you know the drill, check out the links down below. So again, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good day, a good night, wherever you are, have a good one.